U.S. Air Force Association's Air, Space, and Cyber Conference Secretary of the Air Force, Frank Kendall, has stated that five B-21 Raiders are now taking shape at Air Force Plant 42 in Palmdale, California. Viewers may note that the secure facility is 3 million square feet of industrial space and is near Edwards Air Force Base. These aircraft are part of the Engineering and Manufacturing Development EMD, batch, funded under the Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB, contract. The prototypes are in various stages of production. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the B-21 Raider, touted to be the world's most lethal bomber, is shaping up. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Advanced Integrated Air Defense Systems with long-range engagement capabilities are able to target and shoot down aircraft from hundreds of miles away. This way, an adversary can create an anti-access area denial A2AD bubble that prevents the U.S. forces from coming within hundreds of miles of an enemy's territory. For example, Russian S-400 Triumph can detect targets at a range of 600 kilometers or 373 miles and engage them at a range of 400 kilometers or 250 miles. B-21 Raider is being designed to fly deep into enemy airspace to take out the rival's A2AD capability and renders them partially defenseless and act as an enabler for other air combat systems. Apart from tactical and strategic bombing missions, the Raider is expected to be able to conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, intelligence, and electronic attack. B-21 is being developed under the Long Range Strike Bomber LRSB program. A request for a proposal to develop the aircraft was issued in July 2014. On the 25th of October 2013, Boeing and Lockheed Martin announced their teaming up for the LRSB. The other participant was Northrop Grumman. On the 27th of October 2015, the U.S. Department of Defense awarded the development contract to Northrop Grumman. The deciding factor in the selection of the Northrop design was the cost. The B-21 Raider is conceptualized to be a super-stealthy bomber that will be able to penetrate the most sophisticated air defenses for decades into the future and be able to take out high-value enemy targets without the rival even knowing it was there in the first place. The bomber will have a very long range and high payload capacity to carry conventional and nuclear weapons. B-21 is expected to replace the U.S. Air Force's aging fleet of B-1, B-2, and B-52 strategic bombers, which have an average age of 27 years. These aircraft are increasingly becoming vulnerable against new generation air defense systems. B-21's main feature will be an improved stealth profile, which will enable it to not only elude higher frequency engagement radars, but also counter new generation low frequency surveillance radar, which though can't be used for tracking, can be used for detection. Frank Kendall has stated that he supports the service's current position that it needs to acquire at least 145 stealthy B-21 Raiders in the coming years. He made this statement about the B-21 fleet 
during a confirmation hearing before the Senate Armed Services Committee on May 25, 2021. Kendall told the gathered senators, I think that is a reasonable number at this point. We are a long way from achieving that and requirements may change over time, but as a basis to manage the program, I think that's reasonable right now. Viewers may note that then U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Goldfein had first publicly mentioned plans for a B-21 fleet with 145 aircraft during a separate congressional hearing in 2020. In April, Representative Adam Smith, a Washington Democrat who presently chairs the House Armed Services Committee, stated that, based on a briefing he had received, the B-21 program was on schedule. He had told that the briefing was one of the most positive, encouraging things that I've had happen to me in the last couple of weeks. General Timothy Ray, head of U.S. Air Force Global Strike Command, also visited Plant 42 to get an update on the B-21 program. He stated that he saw the significant progress made on the build of the first flight test aircraft. Though the first flight was initially expected to come by the end of this year, it's now been pushed to early next year. Currently, the B-2s remain the U.S. Air Force's best bet for penetrating through potent enemy air defense networks to carry out strikes. A fleet of 145 B-21s is seven times that of B-2s, and this is a massive increase when it comes to penetrating bomber numbers. Viewers may note that on January 31, 2020, the U.S. Air Force, along with Northrop Grumman, released three new renderings of the B-21. All three of these featured the same artist concept of the aircraft photoshopped into real pictures of hangars at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, and Dias Air Force Base in Texas. While the details regarding the aircraft have been kept under wraps, one thing's for sure, it will be a step ahead of anything else, since neither Russia nor China have been able to grasp stealth technology and have nothing like the Raider in the pipeline. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.